Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and this video is the second part in the Open Weather Map API tutorial series. So let's get started. Okay, so in the last tutorial, what we did was we were able to get the actual weather information. So we were able to get the temperature, the feels like temperature, and the humidity all in uh, Fahrenheit and percent. So if we run that program, we get 43, 35, and 75. That's the current temperature in Seattle at the time of recording. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be creating the graphical user interface. So let me just pull up my actual code that I wrote before this tutorial. And we get um, a window that looks something like this. So right here, we see that the title of this window is Seattle weather, and this changes dynamically depending on what uh, actual what the actual city we uh, put into here is. And uh, what it will do, it will uh, is it will put the title here as well as the temperature, feels like temperature, and the humidity, and that'll all be organized into a window like this. And as I said before, we are going to be using a Python graphical user interface application called uh, Kinter. So um, now that we've imported Kinter, we did that in the last tutorial, we can just type in root equals TK with a capital T, lowercase k, open parentheses, close parentheses. And root is just the naming convention, and TK is the actual uh, window. So if we want to just create a blank window, what we'll need to do is we'll need to add another line that says main loop, open parentheses, close parentheses again. And basically what this will do is it will keep the window up on screen instead of actually closing it immediately. So let's just run this. And we see that we just have a blank window that just says TK on it, and then there's nothing on here. So now we need to first add a few elements. So the first thing we need to do is to change the size of the window. So uh, the way we do that is by typing in root.geometry and open up a string inside uh, parentheses and we will need to type in 300x300 and that'll basically make it 300 pixels tall and 300 pixels wide. So now if we run this again, we see that the window has gotten a lot bigger. So now we need to set a title for our window. And the way we do that is just by typing root dot title, open parentheses. And in here, we will need to add the uh, actual title of the window in quotation marks. So I'm just going to do hello world for now run this and we see that there is hello world right up here. So what we're going to do for this title is we're going to replace this with the name of the city and then we're also going to tack on weather to the end of that. And so the way we do that is uh, we define the city name all the way up here in the city name variable. So what we'll do is we will delete this. We will create an f string. And in here, we'll open up parentheses or er, uh, curly brackets. And in here, what we'll need to type in is city underscore name. And we'll need to open up square brackets so we can access the actual string index. We'll need to put a colon and put down negative three. So basically, what this will do is it will, if I go up here, it will show. Uh, just the city name, and then we'll chop off the last three characters. So now what we'll need to do is just tack on weather to the end of that. And we can just hit run, and we see that it says Seattle weather. So now what we'll need to do is we need to create a function that actually shows the city name on the first line of the screen. So if I go back and run this, we see that the first line on here has Seattle right at the top. So we're going to have to make a function that displays that. 
So first, let's just create a function like normal. So def uh, display city name. And in parentheses, what we'll type in is the city. Add a colon on here. And now all we need to do is we will actually need to start adding elements to our window. So the way we add text to our window is by using Kinter's label uh, attribute. So what we'll do is just type in city label equals label spelled with a capital L. Now we'll need to type the window that we're going to put this in and that's root, uh, root. And now we need to type in what the text will actually be. So we'll type in text equals open uh, quotation marks. And we need to make this a format string as well. So add the F in front of it. And what we can do is we can just put this right into here. So now what we'll need to do is when we looked at the previous window, we saw that the font was slightly larger on the city name and the temperature. So we're going to be doing that here as well. So the way we do that is just by typing in city underscore label dot config. And we'll need to type in font equals Now I'll need to open up parentheses and in here, what we need to type in is the font name and then comma the font size. So I'm going to use the console S font, but you can use any font you want. And I'm going to use font size 28. And so that's how you uh, configure the font and the size. And now finally, we're going to add this label to the window. So the way Kinter works is once you have the label, we put it in a variable. And after that, we will need to pack it into the window. And there are other ways to add elements to the uh, Kinter window, but that is outside the scope of this tutorial. So I'm just going to um, type in city underscore label dot pack and side equals open up quotation marks and we'll just need to type in top. And now what we'll need to do is we will just need to run this display city name function. So display city name and that takes in the argument of the city. So we'll pass in the city name. And let me just move this down one line and that should do it. So now let's just run this. First, need to close the other one. When we run it, we see that it says Seattle at the top of our window. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create another function that displays the temperature, humidity, and the feels like temperature. So the way we do that is we're just going to create another function. So def, and we're going to type in the actual name of the function, which is going to be display underscore stats and the statistics are going to be the temperature here. So right here, we're going to pass in the dictionary for the weather. So weather and that's all we're going to need. So uh, now we just need to add a colon on the end and we're going to uh, start running our function. So the first thing we'll need to do is to create three labels for the temperature feels like temperature and the humidity. So we need to type in temp and that's equal to label in the root window with the text of um, that's going to be an uh, it's going to be a format string again. We're going to open up curly brackets and in here we're going to just type in uh, weather with the key of temp. 
and we're just going to add an F on the end to indicate that it's Fahrenheit. So we'll just need to copy this uh, another time. And instead of temp, we're going to type in feels underscore like. That's also in Fahrenheit, so we'll just need to uh, change the name. And finally, we will need to create our humidity, which will have the percentage unit. So we will just copy this line one more time. And we're going to name this humidity. Change this to humidity as, uh, as well. And we will just need to add a percent sign on the end. And we can just put these all next to each other. So now we need to configure the fonts for each of them. So I'm going to copy this line all the way up here in the display city name function. And we're going to just modify this to each of our attributes. So we're going to uh, first do temp.config. And we will set the uh, temp uh, font size to about, let's say, 22. copy this down two more times. We'll do one for feels like and one for humidity. And we can set feels like and humidity to about 16. And finally, we need to pack them all in to the window. So the way we're going to do that is by copying the pack line from the display city name function. And we're going to modify this to each of our stats. So temp, then we have feels like, and we have humidity. And we're going to pack them all into the top side. So now finally, what we will need to do is we will need to actually call this display stats function. So we will need to do display stats. And this takes in this weather argument. And we have that right up here, this weather thing right here. So what we can do is we can just pass in weather right there. So now if we run this, we see that it says Seattle, 43 um, Fahrenheit, 35 Fahrenheit and 75%. So right now what we'll need to do is we need to actually have labels for these because um, a, a user that doesn't know how we created this program won't actually know which one is which, which one's the temperature, which one's it feels like. So we need to add um, some, some text before these temperatures just to show which one's actually which. So the way we do that is since we already have format strings, we can just uh, type in temperature and put a colon there. Now we need to type in feels like, do the same thing. And finally, uh, humidity, colon there as well. And now if we run this, we see that we get temperature equals 43 feels like is 35 and humidity is 75%. So now that you have this window, we have successfully completed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.